Hey guys, what's going on? This is Griever here, bringing you guys a video about the end of Robot X Laser Beam. Now, I don't want to gloat. I don't want to gloat. Because I actually like this series. For lack of a better word. The series certainly had its issues. It had its problems. But overall, the series itself was uh, par, forgive my obvious pun, but why don't we just roll the tape right now, let's roll the tape back to the beginning of 2018 and see what I said then. My bold prediction, not to keep you guys, uh, is the fact that uh, it's going to go down the Prince of Tennis route, it has to, if it doesn't then the series has kind of shot itself in the foot. Um, Looking at the latest chapter, it seems it's going that route a little bit more with the actual laser beam, the lock-on laser beam and stuff. They're getting more. And what I mean by the Prince of Tennis route is that uh, when you have a sports manga, you know, you need to keep the reader very interested, more interested than a shonen, more interested than, you know, uh, a seinen, because uh, the, the demographic who read that are interested in the classic tropes. Um, people who read sports mangas are not necessarily interested in the sport necessarily. You know, you have to convince a bunch of people, and a lot of manga uh, readers do not play sports or are not big sports fans. Um, so you need to convince not just the sports fans like me who also read manga. You need to convince more than just me. You need to target more than me. You need to target people who do not watch sports but still love your series. So my bold prediction for... Robot X Laser Beam, that if it does not start establishing itself to be a super-powered version of golf with, um, you know, the uh, the Prince of tennis S level superpowers, you know, um, borderline just having a bunch of shonen heroes like a Dragon Ball Z cast or a, um, you know, f uh, Fairy Tale, Seven Deadly Sins, One Piece, basically Devil Fruit golf players. That's what we need. Uh, golfers with all different, totally unique abilities that help them do play the game a different way. Uh, if we don't start establishing that, I don't think the series is going to hold enough water and it's not going to last for 2018. It might not be over by 2018, but I'd be surprised if it wasn't, if it doesn't start going down that route. Yeah. Sorry, but I kind of called it. Called it. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is going to be quite a short video. Uh, it's not meant to be a gloat video. It's just about the idea that uh, Robot X Laser Beam will be leaving us. And it's surprising because on the same day that Robot X Laser Beam will be leaving us, three new chapters of New Prince of Tennis dropped. I'm sitting there like... Okay, I mean, I know that a lot of people are into that haiku, haiku, whatever uh, that sports manga is. But I sat there and thought to myself, there is not another sports manga that I'm interested in. Keyword, guys, interested in to follow. And I was really disappointed. I enjoyed reading Robot X Laser Beam week to week sometimes longer but I did enjoy it for its 60 odd chapter run I enjoyed it I'm not happy that I called the ending I wanted this to be a new like the the Prince of Tennis I wanted this to have snake shots and Tezuka zones and you know uh, a Toby's Ice Kingdom I wanted it to have these elements because as I stated this cannot survive without the super power factor for too long it needs that factor you cannot create a realistic sports manga without breaking the boundaries you, you need that shonen trope unfortunately so because I enjoyed the story as much as I did complain about the time skip and things like that being too early I feel like this was once again pressure from the editors and we saw where that ended up didn't save it didn't save it and it's funny to me because it 
ended on the same day that I see that Hiromashima has come up with a new series. Fairy Tale 2.0 in space, if you will. Oh god. This is going to be a shitty year for manga, isn't it? I mean, all I have to look forward to now is hoping that the new era of, or the new arc of Shokugeki no Soma is great. That One Piece continues its orgasmic level of chapters. Seven Deadly Sins. You gotta do better. I love you, but you gotta do better. And My Hero Academia do not trounce on Endeavor so badly. But that's basically it, guys. This is an end of a series. It's sad to say, I did not review the series, so this video will probably not register on a lot of you guys' channels. you probably click away from it. But I just wanted to make this video. I wanted to tell you guys about this because Robot X Laser Beam could have been Prince of Tennis. It could have been Ice Shield 21. It could have been the next Hakyu. But it's not. And I'm sorry for that. Because I started to like it. I liked it from the inception. But what I mean by that is I started to get invested in the other characters. Outside of Robo. I started to get invested in the father's backstory. In the classmate's backstory. In the opponent's backstory. And once you create good character development... You don't need to, when you create a manga or any type of story, video game, music, doesn't matter. When you create this, if you set it in a real world environment, the world's already built. You could call it lazy, but with a true artist, a true writer, it's not. Because a true writer can use that to his advantage and create an immaculate set of characters that you feel so invested in you don't care you don't need to build a world when a world's already built world building is a method of character development it's a method of storytelling if you create a world outside of the one you know, Harry Potter, One of the Rings, Star Wars, you have infinite possibilities. Imagination makes it even better. If you set your bounds to our world, then character development is what you have. That is your tool. You need to make the most interesting person alive. Your favorite actor, musician, your best friend, even your parents, your lover. People you are so invested and interested in. Your Hollywood crush. People like that. You need to create something inside of this world. And unfortunately... Robot X Laser Beam started to do that. It started to create a character development play setting where if it had had to try the Prince of Tennis route, it probably would have went plus 100 chapters. But instead, it teetered on that and stuck to slow progression, which is great if you have a three-year deal if you have a contract not great if you're trying to grab immediate audiences about golf one of the sports up there with badminton and NASCAR on the level of yawning I mean I like golf and I like NASCAR and I like badminton 
but it's not fast paced it's something not everybody watches this was a sport that <sighs> I guess the best way I can explain this guys to end out this video is to say that if you were going to create a golf manga tomorrow you have to have the shonen tropes follow you you need to add bigger explosions than the action manga better character development than the shogo you need to make this manga better than the next guy and because unfortunately robot x laser beam did not make the big impact did not have the big Prince of Tennis superpowers, did not have the big romance storyline to follow, which are the two tropes that can really keep a manga alive. The explosions weren't big enough. The love story wasn't there. It got cut. Sorry to say, guys, but that's basically the reason. In this day and age, that is what you have to do. For me personally, I tend to not follow manga series that do not have an overall love interest. I do have my exceptions, of course, but if there is no romance whatsoever, no couples, no feeling between two characters, it does not grab me as well as it could have if it did have such a feature. So romance is prevalent. Action in a shonen is prevalent. And doing bigger and badder things than the next series is prevalent. The art style, of course, was good enough. So I can't blame the, the pacing, which was rushed. Editors, probably. I can't blame the art style. It was good. Not great, but good. There's no other explanation, guys. Golf is not... Sports manga by itself needs to be bigger and better than the next guy. And unfortunately, they need to be over the top to beat the competitors. And... They tried to do something more realistic. They tried to make an honest, grounded sports manga. It just didn't fly. Sorry to say I'm not happy that I'm right because when I read this chapter it was a surreal feeling today. This morning when I went to work I was reading it and I went, it can't be the end. It can't be the end. And it rushed the entire arc and ended it on a cliffhanger. <sighs> yeah. I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm pretty disappointed. I'm disappointed that we will not get to see the true ending that could have been the true greatness that could have been Robot X Laser Beam. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Griever with your, well, I don't know what this is, a end of a series video. First time doing something like this. So let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. I mean, this is uh, kind of surreal to me, guys. It really is. I was hoping to one day review this series. Uh, I thought about it during chapter three. Now we're at the end. So it's it's very realistic to me that uh, reviewing manga is a limited thing. It's not something you can just pick up, go, and then think you'll be on that trail forever. It was a very big wake up call for me. So yeah, I don't know what it did to you guys. I mean, maybe you read the series. Maybe you thought about it. Maybe you didn't even know it was a series. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Griever. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Always appreciate it. We will see you back here next time for another video, as always. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for me tonight. Signing out.